Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a brand new build that features Black Flame, Bleed, and Faith. Let's first start off by talking about swords. We want to head over here towards Stormveil Castle, specifically the lift side chambers. Once you are here, just exit outside. You should see the Omen and a Doggo next to each other. What we are going to do here is essentially farm. So just attack this omen, defeat him, and then if he does not drop the omen cleaver, you can then just go back towards the Lost Grace, come back outside, take him out once more, and it should drop eventually. It does take a bit of time, although if your discovery is quite high, this can help with the drop rate as well. So try to level that up a bit and then you can just reset your stats by heading over towards Academy. If it helps, I recommend that you take out the dog first if you're not able to take out the omen fast enough. Continuing on towards the second sword that you can pick up. This is located at the end of the game and I'm giving you guys choices here. So just note that if you have the omen cleaver, stick with it. This is completely optional. So if we head over towards Lindell Capital, take out Margot, and then you should be rewarded with the Remembrance. You will want to take this to the Maiden that is next to the Finger in the Round Table, and then purchase the Margot's Cursed Sword. Now again, this is completely optional. The next location we want to head towards is the same exact spot, yet this is available after you have went to Crumbling Fair Missoula. We now have his Remembrance, so you can take this to the Maiden next to the Finger and purchase his Ashes of War. Let's talk about incantations. The first one can be found over here inside the temple, and this is located over at Volcano Manor. In this temple, there will be a god skin that will reward you with a Stitcher and Noble Presence once defeated. The second incantation can be found over here at the Spirit Caller Cave. You will need two Stone Sword Keys in order to go through because there will be a mist door. You will go down and then you'll see the Lost Grace right here. We want to claim that Lost Grace, then head towards the left, towards the south. You should see a point where you're going to drop. You then want to continue towards the southwest. What you should see, there's quite a few spirits in here that will try to attack you. Now, interesting enough, this does remind me of Shadow of the Earth Tree, the whole entire uh, image that they showed us a couple of weeks ago. I think it is a couple weeks ago now. And honestly, I wonder if this is going to be something related to it. Uh, anyways, continuing on, we are going to pass by a few of these fellas here. You too want to throw on some health. If you're low, I'm just going to go straight past all these enemies so we can reach the yellow mist door right here. We will interact with it and you should be in a room where there is another god skin. You will take this god skin out, there will be two, and then after that there will be a snail. Once you've taken out the snail, you'll then be rewarded with the item that you need, which is going to be right here, the Black Flame Ritual. The third incantation can be found over at Stormveil Castle. This can be located near the Rampart Tower. So spawn at this Lost Grace, then locate the exit, and then go outside. We're going to then jump across towards the northeast. You will be able to survive the fall, then go towards the left, and then drop down, and then drop again. You should see some stairs like so, and you want to go down and then continue. There will be quite a few rats in here, yet it is easy to take all of them out. I'm going to be using the Ashes of War that we just picked up at the beginning, and it's right here. There we go, and let's continue forward towards the mist door. Use one of your stone sword keys, and once that has been done, you will then go into this next room. There's going to be a chest on the left and right side. We, of course, are going to loot both. It'd be kind of dumb not to loot it if you did just went in here and just grabbed one thing, but grab both items. There will be the God Slayer Seal and the God Skin Prayer Book. We now have both of these items. So once you have picked up the prayer book, head over towards the round table. We want to go towards the left, talk to him, and then you will want to purchase one of the incantations that will be available. The only way that it's going to be available is if we give him the prayer book. So make sure that you go towards the second option and then give. You can then go through the dialogue, exhaust it, and then go towards the incantations. The spell that we want is going to be the Black Flame. Now, the Black Flame Blade is worth picking up, yet at the same time, it only lasts 7 seconds, so just don't even bother with it, because we are personally not going to be using it in the build today. Yet, feel free to purchase it, because it might be useful later on. Continuing on towards the fourth and final incantation, this can be found over at the Windmill Village. If you head towards the very top, towards the northeast, you should see that there's going to be a godskin pop up. 
you will want to defeat this fella and then you will be rewarded with the item that we are going to be picking up this will be the scouring black flame and with that out of the way we can now talk about talismans we want to head towards the crystal tunnel lost grace then you'll go through towards the entrance locate the lost grace claim it and then we want to go towards the right take the ladder up and then go into the next room this next room can be quite annoying because the insect enemy is really really annoying i know there's a name for him and i just don't even want to give him a name because at this point i just i really do dislike him that much so we are going to then go towards the right go towards the left and then we want to go up you should see that there's going to be a roof that we want to jump on so go towards this south jump and watch out for that fella that can be annoying so try your best to avoid that and then go towards the east we are going to then go into the next room there will be a ladder towards the right we are going to take that all the way up there will be one enemy in here that you can dodge so do not worry about fighting him he's just by himself then we'll continue towards the north take the ladder up this is the part where it can be kind of tricky because you're defenseless so you're just gonna kind of have to go up or you can attack that fella beforehand so it's up to you in this next room we are going to then locate the right side because the item will be right there this is going to be a talisman that you guys definitely want if you're using incantations because it does boost the damage this will be the faithful canvas talisman this is the first version of this talisman there is a better version of it and it can be found over here at the church of plague now let me tell you something here you can either complete the entire quest or you can do this you can attack Melissant after she has been given her prosthesis you can then go back towards the church go towards the bottom towards the west we can then take the cliff downwards so we can survive it this is just a quick way to get to gallery and like i've mentioned just drop down below you will be able to survive the fall damage there continue going along and then you should see the shack we're going to go inside it's going to look like he has a massive headache and maybe some heartburn one of the two he's basically going to be upset that melissa has spoiler alert spoiler alert spoiler alert died and what's going to happen here is that once you have defeated him you will then be rewarded with his next version of that talisman what the other option is is that you can complete the whole entire quest for melissa then come back to this and then you should be able to see him in that crying state it's really up to you and how you want to do this i'm going to go ahead and take him out now i've already taken out melissa over at the god skin location previously where you see her at the windmill village now we have the flocks canvas talisman which is the better version of that talisman moving on towards the second talisman this can be found over at seathwater terminus yes this is the second talisman before i just showed you two different versions of that talisman and of course they can be stacked too the only reason why i do not suggest that is because you're kind of better off using a different talisman instead of stacking both and we'll get into that shortly while you're at seathwater terminus head towards the west you should see this castle as well as this mini boss right here inside the fort we want to go past this fella if you take it nice and easy you should be able to walk through without damaging and then just go towards the next door here interact with it and then go up the stairs there's an item that you can claim on the right side yet for this video we are just going to go straight up and then take a left you do not need to hop on the box yet if you want to look cool you can do it there's going to be this right here which is the fire scorpion charm the third talisman can be located west from the saint bridge you will then want to go towards that general direction you should hear alexander speak about how he's stuck you will want to go towards the left go up there and then strike him you have two options here you can complete his whole entire quest which will reward you with the shard of alexander the other option and this is the fast way of it is just strike him from the back then once you have completed the quest take him out right there and then the reason for this is you will be rewarded with a different talisman this is the first version of the talisman and this is going to be the warrior jar shard 
The second is Shard of Alexander, which is the best. And last but not least, we are going to talk about the fourth and final talisman. This can be located at Stillwater Cave. This cave can be found directly below Lake Facing Cliff. You will then want to go inside towards the east. Now, forgive me if you have seen this before. I am showing this for those that are new to the video or just new to the channel. So this way you guys know how to pick this up right away. We are going to then continue along this path right here. There are some of those flowers on the ground there that can mess you up. These dudes will shoot poison at you just across the gap. Now this might happen to you. If you do not take out this fella or you do not go around him, you will be stuck right here. And then there's the poison. It's been triggered. So at this point, it might be a little difficult because you are going to be going against a boss. The mist door can be located on the left side here towards the southeast. You will then interact with it, and then once you are inside, you should see that there's going to be a Clean Rot Knight. You will then take out the Clean Rot Knight and be rewarded with the Winged Sword Insignia. So, for the most part, this boss is quite easy. I've already taken him out, so this is why you do not see him right here. What's great about this is now we have all of our talismans. And now, let's equip all of those talismans. Shard of Alexander, Fire Scorpion Charm. Flux Canvas Talisman and Winged Sworded Insignia. We can then apply all of the talismans, the spells, and what you should notice is that the Black Flame Ritual is going to allow as sort of a barricade, so then you can sort of use this with the Earth Shaker Ashes of War. Using the Scurrying Black Flame is great for covering some sort of distance, and the Black Flame, of course, that you just saw before is phenomenal in damage. And for Noble Presence, you can mix that up with the Scouring Black Flame. The next thing that I would recommend mixing that up with is probably the Black Flame Ritual, just because it sort of acts like that barricade, it just blocks out enemies. And you can mix that up with Earthshaker as well. If you did not know, Fire Scorpion Charm does increase that Black Flame damage. And with the Winged Sword Insignia, when we have successful strikes, our damage does increase. This is just a great build overall if you've been looking for something different. As I've mentioned before, using both the Flame and the Earthshaker is a great combo. Try it out, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video if you have. Give the video a like and let me know what you guys think down below. If you have any questions, definitely post them there. I will try to reply back. And thank you all for subscribing and I'll see you all in the next video.